the internet at a loss this evening on why some people claim to be able to hear a noise coming from a silent gif. Uh, if you've seen this, it's a video which shows a second long loop of three pylons appearing to skip. And as the third one lands on the ground, some people report hearing a thud, even though there is no sound on the video, right? It's a totally silent video. So what are people hearing? The answer's been described as an optical illusion for the ears and is being researched by Chris Fasnich, a PhD student at City University, specialising in motion to sound synesthesia. What on earth is that, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, synesthesia generally is when one sense uh, bleeds into another one. So, uh, for example, you might see colours in front of your eyes when you hear music. You might get a taste in your mouth uh, when you hear a particular word. Um, and uh, this particular one is when uh, people hear a sound in their head when they are seeing a, a moving object of some kind. And do we know what's going on in the brain to make that manufactured because it is manufactured isn't it the sound doesn't exist there's no there's no real sound going on at all no uh, it's it's purely a sort of a quirk of the brain that uh, a certain group of people seem to have um what we think is going on is it's a an unusual uh, connection in the brain the wiring is a bit different to to the standard wiring of the brain um all the bits of the brain are wired up uh, to each other, but they don't always talk to one another. So the connections are there, but quite often they're silent. Uh, so what seems to be happening in some of these people is um, those connections, uh, for some reason, are, are no longer silent. So uh, when they're seeing this movement, the visual bits of their brain are then able to send a message to the uh, auditory bits of their brain, which uh, appear to be um, creating some kind of sound. Uh, this video was made by... At I am happy toast on Twitter. If you haven't seen it, you want to check it out. At I am happy toast, posted by Dr. Lisa De, De Bruyne. Listen, Chris, is this these merging of the senses as you described it? Then is it a blessing or a curse? Ah, uh, well, um, you'd have to ask the people who who get it uh, all the time. I mean, it, it seems to be the kind of thing that some people. Uh, get this all the time, everything they see. Um, my PhD supervisor, Elliot Freeman, has this day in, day out, every time he sees a moving object. Uh, for other people, it seems to be very specific uh, stimuli, uh, which is perhaps why this uh, particular GIF that's been going viral the last few days has been uh, so popular, because this seems to be a very, very potent, uh, what we call an inducer, which means it's, it's something that induces the sound. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it varies from person to person. Why are we only just discovering this now? Or did we know about it, but it just wasn't getting on the radio? There's been very little research done on this um, topic, actually. Uh, I, I think it, one of the reasons that it, it seems to be a, quite a, a common experience, but maybe a lot of people don't realise they have it. Um, the reason being is most of the time when we are seeing moving objects, they are making a sound. Uh, if you think about uh, people's footsteps as they're walking, uh, people's lips movements as they're speaking, uh, if you sort of you know, drop a glass, it'll crash. So all of these things are movements that uh, make a real-life sound. Um, it's not that often that you sit and watch uh, silent uh, clips, particularly repetitive ones. Um, it's only really in the last few years when, when things like GIFs have become quite popular. Um, and in the real world, if you're going around with this uh, experience inside your own brain all the time, it might be that you think that the sounds are real. You might think that they, you're hearing the real footsteps or they're being drowned out by the real footsteps because, I mean, we live in a noisy world. Mm. It's very interesting. Uh, but, Listen, oh, yeah. oh, we've got the news coming. I've got to go. But I want to wish you well with your PhD. Thank you. Thank and, you very um, much. Report back to us, Chris, because it's an interesting area. So I think Chris uh, described it earlier as a neurological quirk. Synesthesia is what we were discussing there with Chris Fasnich, a PhD student at City University specialising in motion to sound synesthesia. If you've experienced that, I'd like to hear from you. 85058 at BBC Fire Alive. And if you haven't seen that uh, video of the Paris pylons, then you can go to at I Am Happy Toast and find that. In the next half an hour, then, uh, we will...